Or welcome back to Shea Cituro. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Let's go ahead and dig into your energy. This reading is for anybody with a Libra placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Keep in mind this may play out from your perspective or whoever is affecting your energy or will be affecting your energy in the near future. Let's see what's going on for you. Don't forget to hit the like button while I have you here. Support your fellow Librans. Not only does it help support your fellow Librans, but it helps others to understand your energy better. So it really is a win-win situation and it's a fantastic and free way to support the channel and these complimentary readings. I appreciate all of you very much and I love reading for all of you. So let's get started. I'm also gonna pull some heart oracle messages in honor of the month of love, okay? We're gonna dig deep here, so don't go anywhere. You may miss some important messages. Libra, let's see what's going on for you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If I say he, it might be she. It's not gender specific. And of course, feel free to flip those energies. If it's not your energy again, I'm picking up the energy of somebody who's influencing your energy or in the future influencing your energy, okay? We have Feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. So watch who you surround yourself with. There may be somebody in your energy or coming towards you in the future that doesn't have your best interests at heart. They might not be dependable. They might be very insincere. So be very, very, very careful. I'm hearing fair weather friends. So just watching, watching for that, watching who you can trust, okay? We have kangaroo, unsettled times, need to plan ahead. So spirit saying, things are unsettled for you right now. So you need to start planning ahead just in case. You know how they say, save for a rainy day. That's what spirit is advising you to do. Target, a goal-orientated person you may be dealing with or you may be very goal-orientated right now, which makes sense with needing to plan ahead for that rainy day. Let's get your loving guidance messages, please. Angels and spirits for Libra, what are the updated messages for Libra? So if this doesn't resonate now, it definitely can resonate in the future, okay? We have reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. So I feel like Spirit's saying, if you're going through some turmoil, some different things right now, you know, with, with somebody that you're thinking about, you just need to give each other some space, okay? Definitely Spirit's saying, you know, again, needing to plan ahead. Look inside yourself and examine what is causing you to feel this way. So if you're feeling a sense of lack right now, Spirit wants you to look at yourself and see what's causing you to feel this way. Is there something you need to do for yourself here? Because looking inside of yourself is the first step you, you need to, to make here. If there's something that's causing you to feel a sense of lack that comes from within, that's something that you need to work on within yourself. Spirit says you definitely know, you have the power, you know that what you need to do is right for yourself. Like don't people please, and you have the power to say no or walk away. If there's somebody making you feel less than, um, that's causing you to feel this way, sometimes it means that we're lacking the self-esteem or confidence or your person is that you're dealing with. And we need to look at our own reflection sometimes to see what is going on and why are we feeling this way. Spirit wants you to know that you have the power to walk away from anybody that makes you feel less than, okay? So there we go. Let's see what is going on in the tarot charms for Libra. For Libra, angels and spirits, what are the messages? Ooh, one went flying. Okay, for some of you, <laughs> I'm hearing yo-yo. I've got why. I'm hearing yo-yo. Some of you feel a li little bit like a yo-yo right now. Um, some of you are thinking about what happened yesterday. Um, Spirit is saying, took, take a look inside yourself again is what I'm definitely getting here. Somebody is saying, oh, I don't know why I'm getting that. Muchas gracias. Somebody's thanking you. Somebody's thinking about you. Weird. I don't know why I got that. I'm getting Maria. Magical. Mystical. Mom. Somebody may be thinking about their mom. Somebody may be a mom or becoming a mom. Somebody may be dealing with a mother figure. Somebody's saying you're mine. Wow. Somebody's dealing with an X. Okay. Somebody's definitely dealing with an X. Some of you may have to get an X-ray. I'm not a doctor, but that's a message I'm getting. 
Some of you need to get an examination and get an x-ray. Okay, so I don't know what that's about, but that's what I'm getting. Some of you feel like things are just moving way too slowly. Okay, all right. Some of you definitely are thinking about children here. Okay, because I have mother and now I have the stork with the baby. Maybe your mother could be thinking about your child. Um, the stork can also represent a new beginning and you feel it's happening too slowly and it can be because of an ex. Maybe there's interference from an ex or you want to get back together with an ex, some of you. Um, we have ex again. So most definitely this is a very prominent Wow, okay, not for all of you. Somebody's heavy into porn here. That's just a message I'm getting, okay? Maybe somebody has addictions, all right? We've got the heart with children in, so some of you could be thinking about, again, children, having children. That's what's in your heart, that's what's on your mind, okay? For others of you, I'm getting that you may have a childhood sweetheart that you're thinking about having a new beginning with and you feel like they're moving too slow. Spirit saying, if you think you can't, Spirit is definitely saying you absolutely can. Look inside yourself here. Realize your self-worth. You know what is right for you and you have the power to walk away just as long as you plan for your future here. You may need to give somebody space at this time. Maybe it's going slowly and you don't know what to do, okay? And again, look at this. We've got the baby care. Some of you are definitely focused on family, having a child. You may be a mother. You may be dealing with your mother. Let's get a couple more. Spirit saying, have the faith here. Keep the faith here, okay? Because some of you are lacking faith right now or the person you're dealing with is. We have a car. Maybe some of you are... Um, thinking about buying a car, you've just bought a car, or you're thinking about going for a drive, a trip. Whoa, okay. Inspire, okay. So maybe there's somebody that inspires you, or you inspire somebody. You're an inspiration to somebody. Um, yeah, maybe somebody's inspiring you or you them to go like traveling, go in a different direction, drive somewhere, take a road trip. Maybe some of you here, you could go somewhere where it's really full of beautiful flowers and trees and nature. But this can also signify that somebody's inspiring you to go forward here, to take a trip, to choose your direction, to have growth here and expansion. It can be with an X or you are leaving behind an ex and going after a new beginning, somebody possibly from your childhood. Spirit wants you to know no matter what you choose, you are protected. You are protected, Libra. Wow, very nice messages. All right, let's go ahead and get another message for Libra. What is the advice and guidance message? Inspirational message for Libra for February 2023. Remember, whenever you hear these messages though, whenever you're drawn to them is when you're meant to hear them, right? Uh, because again time is fluid so let's see what's going on for libra wow dear sister believe in yourself your value and your inner beauty and you will be happy to be yourself be delightfully true and remarkably you i am empowered strong and gentle with myself and others there you go all right, spirit wants you to believe in yourself. Ocean heart. Stormy waters may cause confusion, but your inner wisdom flawlessly guides you towards your true north. You shall find your way. I trust in the grace that guides me forward. There you go. So whatever you decide to do, spirit is telling you you are protected here, okay? Continue to move forward, believe in your value, and sometimes there's going to be confusion, stormy waters, but your inner wisdom will guide you if you're listening to it, okay? And you will find your way. Just make sure that you, you know, plan ahead for the future here, okay? Knowing that you can. You can do anything you inspire yourself to do, okay? As long as you choose a direction. All right, let's get going here. Let's see what's going on for you, Libra in love in life family career anything can show up in here okay don't forget to hit the notification bell if you're not a subscriber already i would love to have you as one 
All right, let's see what's going on in your energy. All right, some of you may be dealing with an Aquarius. I just saw the star energy here. Some of you may be dealing with a Scorpio judgment here. You're making a final choice or decision. This can also be you're wanting a second chance or they're wanting a second chance with judgment there. Trying to kind of make final decisions, Libra, is what I'm getting. Okay. What's going on for Libra? For the month of February, what are the newest messages for Libra? Yeah, okay. This is about a breakthrough and communication, all right? This may be, you know, this is the sword of victory, the sword of truth, the sword to sever it, the sword to um, realizing where you're meant to go, who you're meant to be with, and what you're meant to do. You're gaining clarity, or somebody's coming to give you clarity, speak their truth. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Ace of Swords is about a new beginning. Some of you may be having a new beginning, second chances, speaking your truth, having a breakthrough. We also have the King of Swords. So this is somebody that is blunt, honest, direct, and very serious. So you may be dealing with another air sign, or this is your energy of being blunt and truthful, or um, you know you want the truth and cut, you're cutting through the crap here. You want to know what's going on. You could be taking on the energy or you're dealing with someone that way. Okay. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. That's commitment, that's family, that's having combined assets, resources. Okay, I feel like either you or the person you're dealing with, Libra, wants to speak their truth. Keep in mind, this can be a family member, it can be a love interest, okay? This is somebody who's going to be blunt, honest, um, almost like... This is like I'm speaking the truth in a family situation or marriage that I want to move slow, slowly here. I want to take things slow. Maybe your person wants to take things slow with regards to commitment or they don't want commitment. They may be blunt. Whatever they're going to say is going to be blunt. It may even be kind of on the cold side, but I'm getting that they want it's it's interesting because don't forget we've also got the turtle here and the knight of pentacles which is the slowest moving knight in the deck this is somebody that wants to go really really slow and i feel like they've broken your heart here okay because it's, they're going to be very blunt and very direct it's like they want to take things slow and i feel like you feel possibly like they're playing games when it comes to a marriage a commitment engagement Why is the Five of Swords here? That's too many. Can I get one for the Five of Swords, please? Angels and Spirits, why is the Five of Swords here? Wow. Okay. So the tower may have dropped between you and them. If it hasn't happened yet, it could. This is I'm speaking my truth. Somebody's broken your heart recently or vice versa. It's been very stressful. Okay, a tower has come down or will come down and the truth shall be spoken here. Maybe this person doesn't want marriage, isn't ready for marriage, wants to take things slow towards marriage and it's breaking your heart. You, you want commitment here perhaps and you may be realizing that they don't. You may already be a mother or you want to become a mother here uh, or you're dealing with a Libra, a Taurus, a Scorpio. Capricorn, Virgo, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I have all the signs here. Um, we also have temperance, okay? So Sagittarius energy. Spirit is telling you to be patient. It does take time to pour one cup into the other. I, I feel like Spirit's telling you to temper your emotions here. but definitely stand up for yourself okay if you feel like somebody has other you know options choices or decisions or they're confused spirit is telling you to defend you know what it is that you want stand your ground be strong here for some of you, you may feel like somebody's been playing games with you okay so definitely stand your ground i feel like you're trying really hard to be patient but you're dealing with an emperor and you are the empress. So it's like you are this couple that is on the same wavelength here. But it's a bit of a, a, bit of a power struggle is what I'm getting. Your person, I feel, is not ready for commitment. They're standoffish. They're 
They might be confused, trying to figure out what they want. They're stressed. They're coming out as very cold and moving very slow. Okay. This emperor likes to plan. They like to figure things out. Okay. This is somebody that wants to move away from the stress. They may want to relocate, but this can also represent, I just, you know, I want, let's bury the past. Let's, let's try again. Um, but they could be going towards somebody from their past or you are, but they're in limbo about it. They're not really sure. Okay. This is a period of stagnation, being stressed, trying to make decisions. Wow. Let's see what the mutual energies are between you and this person you're dealing with. What's going on between Libra and the person they're dealing with or will be dealing with here in the near future? So some of you may have already experienced this tower moment where, you know, maybe you had an argument of all arguments that ended things. Okay. And your person's been very defensive, confused. You or they may be thinking about somebody from the past. Okay, I feel like at the end of the day, you're both focused on your long-term goals. You know, how are you going to retire? So this can be, you know, what we're kind of trying to stand up for here. Because we're trying to focus on our legacy. Like, what are our long-term goals? Maybe there is, there's resistance. Look, see, there's resistance. So one or the other of you is maybe resisting focusing on the long-term goal of your relationship. So somebody's standing their ground and saying, we've got choices and decisions to make. We've got to make plans for our future, but somebody's resisting making plans for the future. It's interesting because we have here unsettled times need to plan ahead. Okay. And then we've got retirement goals, uh, education and resistance. So somebody's resisting going towards the long-term goal. Okay, it's, it's like somebody's getting angry. There's all these choices and, and decisions to make, but somebody's becoming defensive. So somebody's, I feel like this emperor is thinking of moving on because they, they feel like everything's in limbo. Like they're speaking their truth or they will speak their truth or this is you about what they want. Okay, they want to make long-term goals. Somebody does here and there's resistance. It's like we can't have growth. We can't move forward. Spirit is saying you both need to focus on your self-love and self-care here, which is also makes sense because we have looking at, you know, the reflection, our own reflection, giving each other the space at the moment and trust that all will work out because it's kind of like you're at odds ends here because you need to feel like what, what's causing you to feel this way? Why are you resisting looking forward or making plans or making retirement or goals? What is causing somebody to stay in limbo here? Okay. Is it because they're thinking about somebody from the past or you're from their past and you're thinking about each other, but you can't get on the same page in terms of commitment here is what I'm getting. So it's, it's, it's kind of like the timing is wrong. You have different goals at this time. So I, again, I feel like Spirit saying, believe in yourself and your value at this time, okay? Because stormy waters right now are causing confusion for you. So your inner wisdom will guide you if you're listening towards your true north, you will find your way. And then we have the compass here. So Spirit wants you to look within and see what it is that you need to figure out in order to move the way that you feel that you should here, okay? Because you and this person are on opposite ends at the moment here, having uh, different needs and wants at this time, okay? And I feel like you're really trying to be patient here is what I'm getting. All right, Libra, I hope this resonates for you. Let me in the comment section below uh, know what's going on with you. And again, if this doesn't resonate for you now, definitely can in the future. Personal readings are available at shacy.com. I encourage you to check it out. Look at the reviews there. I love reading for all of you. Again, please don't forget to hit the like button. I will see you all again next time. Thank you for your donations and sending in the super thanks uh, donations as well. It's truly appreciated. Sending you much love, much light. Until next time, bye for now.